Southwest Virginia and Northeast Tennessee is rich in music heritage, whether it be bluegrass, country, folk, blues, Americana, or rock and roll. This area has a diverse group of talented musicians. Let's get to know some of the area's top musicians and new rising stars. Company. Hello, everybody. Good He's to be from here. Abbott in Virginia. First off, you guys don't know who's talking. This is Kevin. That's Kevin. me. Kevin is the coolest and is one of our biggest supporters. Thank you for talking to me, man. Oh, well, you're welcome. Thank you. And I just want to get a little bit of background about you, your bio. Yeah. And well, how long have you been playing guitar? Playing guitar? I started messing around with the guitar when I was 9, 10. Really started uh, taking it seriously as 12, 13 years old. Took lessons from a few people, off and on, and took lessons from a real tough guy named Tim Peretti. And uh, been playing, I'd say, for about about nine years. Wow. Yeah. And so, did you have a family member play music or uh, any I had, instruments? I had some family members that played music, but they didn't uh, play with me or anything. My uh, great uncle Bob played guitar, and I had a uh, a great uncle that I never met named Dean, who apparently was a pretty mean guitar player, but uh, my mama always, uh, I was always listening to good music, so that was really, I was uh, listening to it more than I was playing it in my early years, but it was always around. So why the guitar, not not the drums? You know, most young boys want to play drums. I didn't know, man. I, want, I wanted to be, I wanted to be the guy, you know, I wanted to sing the songs, All I wanted right. to play the guitar. Guitar was cool, you know. Play the guitar, and you know. Can you play any other instruments? Play bass. Bass. Yeah, play you bass play and, bass now for our Virginia Ground. Yeah, in Virginia Ground, uh, our boys, and it's fun. It's an entirely different world. It's got me thinking differently, you know, musically, thinking about all the different layers and stuff. But uh, I can play some bass. Uh, I can. Uh, I've got two drum beats that I can do pretty well. But, uh, all right. It's mainly just guitar and bass. That's great. I read in an article that you was, I think he's 14 years old, mm. that you won a songwriting award. Yeah, the Richard Lee Songwriters Festival yeah. in Abingdon, and it was, uh, it was cool, because uh, I got to meet all the guys uh, in the songwriter circle. And the fellow that wrote a song, uh, The Hollies Recorded, Long Cool Woman in a Black Dress, that was really fun. I can't, I can't remember the song that I wrote there. Wow. I don't remember which one that was. I think it was one that I wrote that I don't even play anymore now, but it's a, it's, I'm glad that they do that. It's for a good cause, too. So, were you around 14 when you first started writing your first songs? Mm. Around about, yeah, yeah, yeah. 13, 14. Mm. When you write your songs, you write, you tell a story. Mm. And a lot of stories is about breakups, yeah. relationships, yeah. girls. And are you going to continue that in the next album? Uh, girls, all, there's always going to be a song about girls, you know, a few. But uh, I'm really, uh, you know, I was, uh, in my younger years, you know, I was much more romantic than I am now. I'm, uh, I'm more uh, writing about my own internal conflicts. Okay. Know, so, uh, but there will be some. Some songs for the ladies out there, some heartbreak songs always. Because y'all never stop breaking my heart. <laughs> stop breaking his heart. Yeah, stop. Yeah. Well, no, you can keep on doing it as long as I can write songs about it. <laughs> but, uh, so how long have you known that you want to be a performer? All my life. All your life. Um, when I was young, I did theater. The uh, first show I ever did was in 2007 at the Barter Theater. And uh, that was that was my thing. You know, when I was young, I did a... I did a a lot of years in that theater, and uh, I saw a picture some, that your mom had posted on 
Facebook, uh -huh. you were like carrying like, I think a guitar case. Uh huh. And you looked like you were like seven or eight years old. Yeah, yeah, I'm very young. And you were like walking across the street from the Barter Theater. Yeah, probably with my friend Audrey. Am I yeah, right? there's a little girl yeah. behind you. Uh huh. She's, I'm, uh, she's not so little anymore. I guess I'm not so little anymore. Yeah, you're but, uh, grown up now. That was a long time ago. But uh, yeah, that was uh, early on, you know, singing along to the Green Day and the radio and the car. And uh, it was always there. I just don't. It didn't really kick in until I was like eight, nine years old, you know, seven, eight. So what's hardest for you, writing the song or performing the song? Hmm. Writing it's definitely a lot harder. Oh, thank you, Nina. Yeah, it's because it's, there's so many, so many different ways you can go with a song. I'll sit with the first line of a song for an hour, a week, sometimes a month even, to just leave it alone because it's, you can say one thing, and you can go down so many different roads with it. You, you can say that. And now I said you're posting some stuff on Instagram and Facebook mm -hmm. where you're writing stuff for your third album. Yeah, yeah. Second one, we yeah. haven't even... Uh, Put out yet. It's not out. <laughs> it's not mixed. It's not mastered. But I'm still, I'm still writing because I just can't stop. And it seems like you can just write just in a matter of time. If I put my head down to it, you know, and really... There's gotta be that spark of inspiration, you know I mean? I don't feel like you necessarily have to be inspired the entire time to write a song, you know? But uh, if you get one moment and you can, and you put your nose down to it and you really focus on it, you can, you can, write, you can write a song in a, in a night, you know? But you don't wanna rush it, just oh, like yeah. uh, Take your time. You don't wanna push it, it's just like, I've kinda got this analogy, uh, you ever think that you have to Excuse me, but you ever really think you have to pass gas and you're like, oh man, it's bad. You push it. If you push it, just like a song, it'll come out and it'll be shit. You know? <laughs> yeah. It'll be shit. You don't want to push it, don't want to rush it. You know, and playing locally is not a lot of money involved. It's getting paid. Yeah, right. yeah, we, we get paid. Yeah. But, uh, it's not all about that, you know? It's all about the art. Yeah, it's about the music and it's about connecting with people. You know, all the songs are stories, you know, they're all story songs. And they're all, I'm in there at some point, whether I'm talking to myself or, you know, they're all little slices mm -hmm. of me. And I, what I love about doing it is having people come up to me and tell me that they really um, felt a certain song and that they felt that exact same way, like, man, you took the words out of my mouth. Like, I've been through that before. and. Uh, like, that's where it's, it's about connection and building and becoming the best band that we can be, you know. Money's great, we gotta eat, mm -hmm. but you know, it ain't, we would still be doing it yes. for half of the money for. You got a lot of money involved in your equipment, you know, guitars, yeah, yeah. We strings, all yeah. and your time. And yeah, we gotta write, write all that stuff down for tax write-offs and stuff. I'm going to start doing that now, I got a little taxes. One of my favorite songs from the last album is Our Beating Hearts. Yeah, it's a title track. Title track. What's it about? Um, it's kind of the, it's dark. A, yeah, me. yeah, it is dark. It's the only song I've ever written without a chorus. It was weird. I um, had been in a slump where I hadn't been writing at that point and I didn't know what else I had to say. And it's um, kind of a song about being afraid of life, you know? All these questions that we don't have the answers to. Nobody has the answers to. The only people that have the answers can't come back and tell us, you know? And uh, if you let that stuff get in your head too much, you know, and you become afraid, then you're gonna miss it all, whatever it is. It's not about knowing, it's about the doing, you know? So who are your inspirations? I know you like Tom Petty, yeah. Bob Dylan, yeah. anybody, any those, others? Well, those two are my, my number ones. For the longest time, it was Bob was my number one, and Tom was my number two. And uh, I just relate so much with Tom. You know, it's like Bob is something that is, he's on a huge pedestal. Like, that's something that's not, he's untouchable. You know what I mean? I feel like Tom Petty and I could be, like, really good friends if I'd have <laughs> met him. You know what I mean? I feel like if I met Bob, I'd be scared to death. You know, okay. so, but those two are probably my biggest inspirations. I love the replacements. I like a lot of grunge. Uh, I, I really like everything except for some hip-hop and some heavy metal country. 
uh, classic country, um, Motown, but rock and roll is where it's at for me. It's that's it. Bob Dylan and Tom Petty. You don't need to go much further. Mm -hmm. I told you back last fall that you were great. Mm -hmm. Do you remember what you told me? No, I don't. You said I try my best. I try my best. And you're very yeah. humble. I try my best. Yeah, yeah. you do. Well, it's a, I just do what what I love to do, and I hope people like it. Mm -hmm. But if they don't, they don't have to listen. You know, they don't have to. It's not going to break my heart. So I want to do what I do for people that appreciate it the way that I do. You know, I want, I, and I don't much care about people that don't care about it because it's not really the kind of people I want to be around. I just do what I do what I do as good as I can, and you know, maybe one day I will be great. That's the goal. That's yeah. It'll be great one day. Hopefully. And tonight you're playing the Capones with Jake Cluen opening yeah. up for you. Yes. And you Jake got is a man. double duty next week. With uh, at the Holston River Brewery, Bristol, St. Patty's Day, St. Patty's Day, yeah. with Virginia Ground and Fritz and Company, yeah. and you got the Virginia Ground Bang Tank coming up. Yeah, and that's gonna be fun too. And April the twentieth. Yeah, I'm gonna be running my butt off. And your new city's coming out May the eleventh. Yeah, at yeah. Uh, Wolf Hills. Mm -hmm. Is that correct? Yep. Yeah. May eleventh is the release date, and uh, I can't wait. I'm so excited to put this. Is that a title for that album yet? It's called Sweet Rock and Roll. Sweet Rock and Roll. Yeah. Well, Logan, thank you very much for coming. Thank you so much for coming to me. It's been a pleasure. Fixing you, you got 